we're going raspberry picking. So it actually just rained as we were kind of driving out here, but as soon as we arrived, it's gorgeous again. You guys want some? We should share. Right, there you go. Yeah, share. Enjoy. Yeah. Have it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, folks. This is the Rad City, and it is our very first electric bike. So Vicky's ridden on it already. Uh, so she's already experienced what it's like. I have not ridden on it at all, except for when I just rolled in just now. Yeah, so again, this is the Rad City. It's made by Rad Power, which is based in Seattle, and they also have an office in Vancouver. And the reason we got it is because I'm hoping to commute to work uh, on this baby during the non-winter months. Having an electric motor and a battery and everything is gonna make the commute way easier, I think, on, on me at least. We also have a giant basket because I'm gonna have a work bag with me every day. So let's see if it fits. I've never actually tried. Oh, perfect. <laughs> it's so pretty, isn't it? It's got a throttle and a oh, zombie. So on this first ride, I'm going to do the exact same commute I would normally do. We've done the ride before on regular bikes and it takes about an hour or 20 minutes, hour and a half or whatever. Uh, we're going to see whether this can A, cut down on time, but most importantly, make sure that I'm not completely exhausted and drenched in sweat by the time I get to work. Okay, cool. So we're going to talk about a few of the features on the bike. Um, here you have the screen where it shows you, let me turn it on, all the information. This is how fast you're currently going. This one is pedal assist, so there's up to five modes. Um, so eco mode is like the lower versions where it you know, assists you a little bit, whereas you can go all the way to five, and you can also use the throttle over here. So you can crank this to help you when you're starting, like when you're starting from like a, a light, for example. Um, you have the battery here, you have the odometer, so the total amount that you've ridden. So I've ridden this bike twice already, and we've gotten up to 30. It goes up to seven gears. To switch them, they go here. Your front and back brakes. These are disc brakes that they have. Nice and strong. I'm really used to, I guess, wider handlebars. I'm ri I've ridden cruisers before, but they haven't been this narrow. So I find that when I sit and I'm riding for a long time, I, do you see how like my, my wrist is kind of like angled outwards? So it's not really my natural position. So it's not that comfortable for longer rides. We'll see what Eric says after his 32 kilometer ride today. We have another cool feature is like lights. They're integrated on the bike. So we have the front, which is the white light. And then we have the rear one, which is a red light. Something extra cool about the rear light I found was that when you press on the brakes, it flashes. Kind of like a car. Isn't that cool? I thought it was super cool. <laughs> you still should signal to, you know, get in the habit of signaling, letting people know that you're stopping. Battery here, it has it can go up to 50 to 70 kilometers depending on how much pedal assist you're using how much pedal assist or throttle you're using you can detach it so they have the different like locking features where you can detach it you can charge take it out charge it and then put it back in so you can go on, on your ride over here you have the motor and what i like about this extra feature is the derailleur cage that helps protect the derailleur because if something were to happen to this bike and it like tipped over for example and you bent this it would i don't want to i don't want to fix that <laughs> the seat is really nice but i think it was just this was my only complaint really like just the angle of it 
Yeah, we got the step through version, meaning you don't have that top bar, uh, so it makes it easier to step through it. Because mm -hmm. the one thing about electric bikes in general is that they're a lot heavier due to oh, the yeah. motor, due to the battery, due to everything being just a little bit bigger. So this bike is, was it 80 pounds -ish? Yeah, I think it's probably 70 to 80. It's, it's really heavy. Yeah, so it's, it's not quite <laughs> the same as a normal bike, so it's a little uh, easier than to just step over it to get in your seated position. You ready to get going? Yeah, let's go. So why am I biking to work at all? Well, first of all, it's going to be better for the environment, reducing your carbon footprint, not using the car as much. So I plan to do this every single day, but even if I only end up doing it like once or twice a week, that's still gonna be a big impact comparatively to just driving my car to work every day. I also am lucky enough that at my work, we have lockers, we have showers and stuff like that. So even if I do get a little bit, of, a little bit sweaty, it's gonna be fine because I can just shower and change once I get to work. And another thing that I find that as as I grow older and I have more and more responsibilities is that there's far less time for exercise. Um, so by doing this, commuting is something I'm going to have to do anyway, so I might as well just double up and count this as exercise. Uh, so it's going to save us money, it's going to save the environment, a worthy investment, but I don't know whether I'm going to like it. So this is going to be the very first time we do this commute and I'm hoping that it goes well and that it's comfortable and everything. So let's get going. Integrated bell is sick. <laughs> baby geese. Let you go, let you go. There's these baby geese on the sidewalk. Another feature of this bike that we forgot to mention before is that it actually has uh, regenerative braking, so every time you brake, uh, it recharges the battery. So Vicky was saying how it's not the most comfortable for her in terms of the hand position. I haven't really felt any issues with it. What I will say is the seat, it's super comfortable. This bike is cruiser bike style, so um, it's meant for a more casual riding position. Uh, so you're not gonna pick up insane speed on it. So you're not, it's harder to like lean into it and get fast. But like if you're just casually biking along, I could probably sit on the seat for many more hours than I would my normal bike before I get that, you know, that sore crotch. <laughs> if your seat is uncomfortable, there's always buying a new seat. So you can always find something that would fit your bum. But this one comes with a really nice seat. That's what I was saying. <laughs> no need to retrofit a different seat on it. It's good already. Woo! No pedaling. Here's the throttle. behind the scenes whenever we do those camera shots of us riding past. I have to actually set up a camera and pick it up again. The stuff we go through. All right, we made it to my work. The commute was super easy for me. I don't know about you. I got a good workout. My bum's a little sore. That was only on a maximum of <laughs> pedal assist level one or two and there's five levels so I barely had to to uh, Put any crank it up. Into yeah. it. So on the bright side it means my commutes are gonna be really easy I may not even sweat I may not even need to shower when I get to work which is gonna be really nice I love the the fact that it has fenders I love the fact that you can take the battery off and bring it in the office if you're low on a charge and just charge it up the only things that I noticed was um, the the uh, gear changes 
are a little light. If you push it in hard, it'll it'll switch multiple gears. Sensitive. Yeah, so it's a little sensitive, but I, that's something that I just need to get used to. Yeah. I just realized, oh, I just have to click it lightly and then it'll change gears. I don't have to crank Thank it. <laughs> no issues with the angle of the handlebar? Yeah, I didn't notice anything. Like, if you didn't bring that up, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have noticed anything. I think for me the reason why it was uncomfortable because I have a tendency to want to ride fast and so when I do it's not wide enough for me to kind of like lean forward um, otherwise yeah it makes it uncomfortable for me but that's just that's the built of this bike it's for leisure rides so. Yeah it's built cruiser style. Yeah. If you're just sitting straight back you're very comfortable. If you're trying to gain speed and you're leaning forward then yeah, yeah. Your, your wrists may turn out a little yeah. bit. The basket Super convenient. It's we got a large size, and so for grocery shopping trips, it's gonna be super nice. Uh, Vicky, even in a, a smaller basket we had, uh, did all of our normal groceries and even fit a watermelon in it before. So the fact that we now have two bikes with, with two baskets, baskets yeah. it's going to make it super convenient for grocery shopping. So if you're interested in giving a test ride to any electric bike models available in your area, check out a local bike shop, see what they have in stock. So again, this is the Rad City bike by Rad Power, and I, I highly recommend it so far based on my experience. I think in general, e-bikes are game changers for the way that we commute from A to B. Like it makes it so much easier for traveling, and it's so much more enjoyable. Um, you're putting in the work and you can still get a little bit of, you can get exercise depending on how much assist you want to use. But yeah, it, it makes it really smooth, really fun, super enjoyable, highly recommend it. So we are going to commute back home now. Um, so you can go back on your normal bike and I'll take this one and uh, can you I'll put me in the see it. No, 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 this is all mine. See y'all on the flip side. My dad found a rat in our backyard, and he's a pretty big guy. He's so big. He's really cute, though. He's really cute. Anyways, we, we brought him to the forest, and now we're gonna let him go. And we'll see what... He's pretty... He seems pretty drowsy, so... I don't know what's wrong with him, but let's see how he reacts to being released. Look at that. Gravity changing? Be free! Or not. What? <laughs> Come on! Come on! You can do it. Go ahead. Do, do you not want to go? <laughs> okay, there you go. Good boy. Oh, oh he doesn't look. He doesn't look too well. Looks like he's. <laughs> look at the size of him. Wow. Literally like it's huge. Are you okay, buddy? Because I think typically you wouldn't normally oh. see them because they're yeah. so fast. Like, look at his breathing. I he's, know. Labored. He's not doing good. Yeah, well. Yeah, he's probably definitely already sick. But. Maybe rat poisoned by somebody? Yeah. We hope you get better. There's some water over. Whoa, okay, he's going. <laughs> yes, he's alive. <laughs> he's fine. Look at him. I don't want to be on camera, bye. He's real good now. Right. Look at him. Yeah. Oh, oh, he kind of slipped. <laughs> All right. Bye, buddy. Enjoy. There's a watering hole there if you need some liquids. Job well-ish done. I hope so. <laughs> He's fine. <laughs>